Many people move from a Windows operating system to a Linux distribution in search for a lightweight, efficient and free operating system that can be tweaked or customized as per their requirement. However, there are situations when they need to run a Windows program and that's when they miss their old Windows operating system, while some switching back to Windows altogether. So what's up everybody, welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and in today's video we'll check out four programs that can be used to run Windows applications on Linux system. Alright, so let's start today's video. When it comes to running Windows application on Linux, the most popular and probably the only one that does this is the Wine project. It's a huge project started in 1993 by Alexandre Juilliard, a computer programmer from Switzerland. He currently works for Code Weavers, which make crossover application that we'll talk about a little later. Now Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. And what that means is it does not emulate a Windows environment, but it duplicates functions of Windows by using DLLs that window program calls or uses. All right, now the first app is the original Wine itself, which comes pre-installed by default on all major Linux distribution. But if you do not have Wine installed on your computer, you can download it from the website that is winehq.org and you can download it by going into this download link. The current stable release is Wine 2.0 and the development release is Wine 2.4. So you can download any one of these files and install on your computer. Now once the installation is over, you can open any .exe extension file which is Windows executable file by right clicking on it and choosing open with Wine program loader. Now I've already downloaded a winrar.exe file the installer file to install WinRAR. All I have to do to install it on this computer is right click and choose open with other application. Now I have already installed crossover app on this computer for the purpose of demonstration. But in case you do not have crossover, then you'll have this option, Wine Windows Program Loader. So you select that and click on select and this will run WinRAR.exe and install WinRAR on this computer. Now Wine also comes with a configuration tool to let you change few settings. Go to Wine and configure Wine. Now under application tab, you have default settings and right now by default, the Windows version selected is Windows XP because it has the highest compatibility rate with Windows XP. So you do not have to change it. Then you have libraries and graphics and then you have desktop integration. Now here, if you can see that this current application and all the Windows application installed by Wine will have this Windows 98 or Windows NT look and feel. Now you can change that by installing a Windows 7 or Windows XP theme. Um, I have already installed a Windows 7 theme from DeviantArt. So I'll just show you the link. It requires a .ms style file or a .theme file. So you can go to DeviantArt. And right at the top, you have the search box. Type in MS style and press enter. So you get a lot of options here. The one which I have installed is the Vista Perfection. It's this one right here, Vista Perfection X2 MS styles. So click on this and download this file from here. I have already done that. And once you have extracted the file, click on install theme and point this to the place where you have extracted the Vista Perfection file and click on Vista Perfection .ms styles. Click on open. I have already done that. Once you have done that, you will get the Vista Perfection option in this drop down menu. Click on it and then click on apply and OK. Now let's reopen the Vine configuration tool. Now, as you can see, now we have changed the look and feel to Windows Vista. Let's switch it back to the default theme. Click on apply and OK. All right, so that was about Wine configuration tool. Now, the second app is the Wine Tricks app, which basically is a helper script 
that provide a GUI front end to Wine. You can install this program from their GitHub web page. The link of which will be available in the description of this video. Now it lets you install missing DLL or tweak various settings of Wine. So let's open Wine Tricks. Now here you have the option to view help, install an app, a benchmark, a game, a Wine prefix. To install an app, click on install an app, click on OK. Alright, now you have the list of all the available apps. You can click on the app that you want to install. Click on OK and this will start installing the app on your computer. Alright, now the third option and probably the most popular is Play on Linux, which also uses Wine software, but it has a database of scripts required for different application that needs special configuration. Now programs can be installed using different versions and configuration of Wine, so you do not need to install a different version of Wine every time you install a new Windows software according to its compatibility. Now Play on Linux can be installed from their website that is playonlinux.com. So this is the home page of Play on Linux. Now it also has this supported software tab where you have the complete list of programs that can be installed using play on Linux. Now you can go to download and then install it on your computer. Now the distribution that I'm using currently is Zorin OS which has play on Linux installed by default. So I'll just open up play on Linux. Now to install a program you need to click on install a program and then it has this category wise list of all the Windows programs that can be installed uh, so it has pretty good amount of softwares and especially games. It has an extensive list of games that can be installed. So there are many popular game titles that are available and that can be installed using Play on Linux. It also provides regular patches to the softwares to ensure that the program runs properly on the system. Now the last option is the crossover app from Code Weavers. Remember it's the same company where the maker of Vine project Alexander Juliard work. Now it's a paid app and the license costs 15.95 US dollar but you can get the 14 day trial version from the Code Weavers website. Now the best thing about this app is that it is the largest contributor to the Wine project from hosting the official website winehq.org of the Wine project and the profit that it makes by selling the Code Weaver license um, also helps the Wine project. Now though it's a paid app but there is one Linux distribution that has the full licensed version installed free of cost by default and that is the Dippin OS which I reviewed in my previous video. You can check that video by clicking on this link here or you can get the link in the description of this video. Now there has been a lot of questions on how Dippin managed to provide licensed version of crossover free of cost. But the administrator of Cup of Linux website contacted Crossover team regarding this issue and got this reply from them. It turns out that Code Weavers has an agreement with Dippin OS that allows them to distribute full copy of Crossover Linux. I'll post the link of the complete thread in the description of this video. You can check that out as well. On this computer, I have installed the 14 day trial version of Crossover. You can install it by going into the Code Weavers website. Now apart from Linux, they also provide a version for Mac to install Windows program on Mac. Now at the top you have what runs which gives you a list of programs that are supported by Crossover. Now to download the Crossover app, click on download free trial. Enter your details and then you can click on download trial now. Now I have already downloaded and installed the software. So let's quickly open Crossover. There it is. Now to install a Windows software, click on this button in the bottom that says install Windows software. It is always recommended to update this first and then type in any Windows software that you want to install. So let's say we want to install WinRAR. So type in WinRAR and you have all the versions that are available. So if we want to install WinRAR 5.x, it also gives you this little hint about how well the application runs. Alright, so that was all about crossover. Now, 
both crossover and play on Linux gives you excellent GUI option to the plain Wine. But crossover supports directly to the Wine project and hence quite important for the overall development of Wine. Alright, so that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment or suggestion, do type that in, in the comment box. Do not forget to subscribe to XPS Tech channel for more such videos on Linux and pen testing. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.